Hi, it's Vishali. The international break is over and the Premier League action will be resuming this weekend. Something I have to say I am really happy about. And of course, I'm back here at Cobham where I've been to Antonio Conte's press conference and I've just seen the Chelsea players leave. Uh, go to the hotel ahead of that game with Crystal Palace on Saturday afternoon. Now, I want to round up Conte's press conference because there is huge news in terms of the team news ahead of that game at Selhurst Park. Chelsea will be without the top scorer Alvaro Morata, they will be without N'Golo Kante and they also will be without Danny Drinkwater. Let's just look down, uh, look at how uh, these injuries have come about. So Morata of course sustained uh, a muscular injury uh, in that 1-0 loss to Man City before the international break. He has uh, been at Cobham and trying to recover from the problem. Uh, the good news is that he's only going to be missing one or two games. So he's definitely going to miss the game against Palace but Conte said he hopes to have the striker back for that game against Roma in the Champions League. So that's obviously going to be huge news uh, and a huge boost for Chelsea ahead of that game. But the bad news is that Kante is out for between 20 to 25 days. Now he suffered a hamstring injury uh, during the international break while playing for France against Bulgaria. Uh, now he's going to have further scans next week but Conte has said that it looks likely he'll be out for the rest of the month and also potentially for the start of November. So the kinds of games you might see Kante miss, well of course he's going to miss that game against Palace, he's going to miss both ties with Roma in the Champions League, he'll miss the Carabao Cup game against Everton and it looks likely that he'll be missing the game uh, against Manchester United in the Premier League in early November, a huge, huge loss. Um, but Conte was asked whether or not he will be prepared to play someone like David Luiz in midfield because he's done that before and David Luiz has done well in that similar kind of position. And all Conte would say is that you know, he prefers having Louise in central defence because he is one of the best central defenders out there. Um, and Kante's absence really um, allows him to play someone, you know, obviously Bakayoko, Fabregas, but also perhaps some of the younger players in the academy. Now, another interesting thing that came out of the press conference was the chat about Charlie Musunda. Now, if you follow Charlie Musunda on Instagram, you will know he posted a cryptic message uh, this week in which he appeared to criticise Chelsea uh, for the lack of game time that he's had at the club. Now, Conte confirmed that he has had a chat with Musunda about it and uh, Musunda has realised his mistake at using social media to talk about you know, his career kind of and, and how he feels. Um, he insisted, however, that Musunda has got a future at Chelsea, but he needs to improve physically and he needs to improve his tactics awareness if he wants to have a chance of starting um, you know week in week out for Chelsea and he said that he needs to use someone like Anders Christensen as an example of how to kind of you know bide your time and wait for the right moment to prove your worth. Uh, now Conte was also asked about the Italy national team job because Conte he, he continues to be linked with a move away from Chelsea and he said that it, this, these rumours have come about because he gave an interview a couple of weeks ago that he says he sure has been mistranslated. And he just emphasised the fact that he is fully focused on Chelsea. Um, and that is shown by the fact that his daughter, for example, is going to school in Cobham. His family has moved from Italy to England now. They are fully settled here. Um, he was talking about how he's, you know, he's learned to drive you know, on the side of the road that we drive on here. And you know, he's happy here. Um, he's got a nice house in Cobham. And he just you know, insisted that he is fully committed to Chelsea and them achieving their aim. Now, I'll be at the uh, game uh, between Palace and Chelsea on Saturday, my first trip to Southwest Park. So we'll be posting another video update after that game.